Hi guys, this is Mrs. Hall and I'm here today to talk about contour lines. So what are contour lines? A contour line defines the outline form as well as the interior structure without the use of shading. So this apple is just um, using lines, but it still looks three dimensional based on how the lines are curved. So what are the types of contour lines? There are four, a single contour line with varied line weight, cross contour lines, continuous contour, and blind contour. So a single contour line with very line weight, it means that you're drawing um, a single line, there's no shading involved, and some of the lines are darker or thicker, and some of them are thinner or lighter. The thicker the line, like down here, the more visual emphasis is paid to it. So when I look at this, my eye goes to this bottom left-hand side because that line is thicker. Sometimes if it is helpful to use more than one drawing utensil, if you have the resources at your house to use like a thinner marker and a thicker marker, that can help, but you can also just use a pencil and vary the weight of the line. Okay, cross contour lines, this is what Art One focuses on. It uses lines to follow the form of a subject, and it should appear three-dimensional after you put your lines inside. The closer the lines are, the darker an area will appear. The more curved your lines are, the rounder an image will appear. So I can't just like make these lines straight, I have to make it curved so it gives the illusion that it's 3D. If you don't do that, it's not gonna look 3D. All right, continuous contour lines. Never take drawing utensil off of the paper until the drawing is complete. A single line follows the form of your subject. The tip of your utensil should always be touching the paper. So this gets a little challenging because, and that's why this one looks a little messier, because you have to look at your subject being a hand and then draw it without taking your pencil off the paper. So the fact that this stops right here, they probably started here and went around and did the fingers and all the way up and then probably eventually stopped with here. So that is very difficult to do, continuous contour lines, um, because you can't take your pencil or pen or drawing utensil off the paper. Okay, blind contour drawing. Um, we're not gonna do this um, today, but the blind contour drawing means you never look down at the paper while drawing. You are allowed to pick up your pen or pencil and you move your eyes slowly around the object and keep your drawing utensil moving. So the way you could do this is you could put like a piece of paper in front or over your hands so that you don't look. That's what I did in college. Um, but basically you can't look at your paper. So it makes the drawing image usually more messy than this. This person is probably pretty experienced in blind contour drawing, um, but it's basically training your eye so that you're looking at the shape of objects and not um, just making it up out of your head. So here are some examples of contour lines in drawing. This is called Three F Female Figures by Henry Moore. It was made with pencil, crayon, ink, and uh, on paper. So you can see that they have cross contour lines here. Um, they have probably a continuous contour line going. So this is an example in drawing. You'll also find it in other things. So um, this contour line in printmaking, you see there's an outline of Muhammad Ali's head. This is by Andy Warhol. There's a lot of lines going on in here. I don't believe this is a continuous contour line, but it is just a regular contour line. And this is in printmaking, by the way. An example of contour line in sculpture, right here, you can see that they use line to suggest the form. This is called Joined at the Hip by Marjorie Goldberg, and this was made in 1996. It's made out of neon and exotic woods. This one um, is called Self-Portrait by Leonardo da Vinci. This is actually a painting, although it looks like a drawing. Um, it's painted with red chalk. It dates back to 1512, so it's unclear really the method that he used, um, but it is a painting. Okay, so here I have the links for the Art One Contour Line Worksheet. So this is what you're gonna be working on and I'll do another video for that. And then Art Two, here's the links for the Contour Drawing Worksheet that you are going to do. 
as well as um, the resources. So I got some of these off the Modern Met Museum, some of these pictures, um, and then the YouTube uh, videos. Thanks so much.